President's Day weekend, 1979. A low-pressure system bursts into existence over the eastern seaboard, dumping 22 inches of snow on Washington, D.C. and the surrounding area. There isn't much to do but watch TV, and for the first time, the Great American Race is featured on network television. Until now, NASCAR has been relegated to a last-half broadcast on Wide World of Sports. This year will be the first flag-to-flag -flag broadcast, along with other innovations such as low-angle cameras in the corners and the very first in-car camera mounted in the passenger seat of Benny Parsons' Oldsmobile. The race starts under caution after it rains the previous night and into the morning. Because of the storm, NASCAR has an unexpectedly captive audience for its biggest race of the year. After 15 laps of caution to dry the track, they drop the flag and let them go. The field hurdles into turn number one. Critical time. Donnie Allison goes out in front. Baker dropping to second as they come to the tri-oval. The leader is Donnie Allison. And look at that Oklahoma land rush back there. On lap 31, Cale Yarborough drafts up behind the Allison brothers and taps Bobby's rear bumper. Bobby is shoved forward into Donnie, and all three end up drifting through the muddy infield. Donnie Allison and Cale Yarborough manage to recover and get back in the race, but Bobby never fully does. Bobby Allison has 169 laps to stew. On lap 55, Bruce Hill and Gary Ballou cause a classic Daytona wreck, collecting four others. Neil Bonnet's good day ends on lap 74, when he blows a tire, and Harry Gant is hit as the field takes evasive action. Gant slams into the pit wall, and ricochets back onto the track. The oncoming traffic misses him by inches. The final lap finds Donnie Allison and Kale Yarborough battling for the lead. Yarborough cuts to the inside from behind. Donnie dives down to block, though he'll swear later he never meant to. His rear bumper clips Yarborough in the nose. They tangle up the track and into the wall. And suddenly, Richard Petty, who is 17 seconds back on the previous lap, has nothing but clear track in front of him. It's his sixth career Daytona 500 victory. Richard Petty, the great master, has just recorded his 186th career, and, and there's a fight! Bobby Allison is done stewing. Donnie and Cale Yarborough have come to a rest in the infield. Bobby pulls up to check on his brother, and Yarborough runs over, swinging his helmet through Bobby's window and claiming that he started it. Donnie attempts to pull them apart as Bobby climbs out of his car to swing back. As Bobby will put it later, his nose kept running into my fist. About 15 million viewers tune in for the race. It headlines the New York Times sports page. NASCAR officials initially claim to be unhappy that this is the way they end up in the news. And the drivers are fined $6,000 a piece. But America can't get enough of it. In the space of a minute, they've gotten their first taste of the sport, the king at the top of the world, and a brawl in the infield. And they want to see more. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.